Hello and welcome to the next video in the frame camera imagery workflow. In this demonstration I'm going to add some ground control points manually. This is very similar to the georeferencing workflow but with one key difference which I'll discuss in a minute. In order to do this I'm going to select manage GCPs and I'm going to click on that top option. There's also an option to compute GCPs using the software very similar to auto georeferencing or there's a bottom option which is import GCPs. So if me or someone in my team had been out on the ground with a, um, a GPS collect GCPs or I had them from a previous task I could use those. However I'm going to click on that top option. Clicking on that option and you'll open your GCP manager. Uh, it might open somewhere different on your screen. You can change the size, make it bigger or smaller, get things set up uh, how you like it in Pro. Using two screens, this can be even easier. Okay, I'm going to add my first GCP now and I'm going to go for the top left of the image block. I'll talk about what makes a good or poor GCP in another video, so I'm just going to crack straight on. Before I get started, I'll just talk about the one key difference between this and georeferencing. When we're adding ground control points as part of a georeferencing workflow, the first click is done on the raw image and then we reference that to the base imagery. In this workflow, I'm going to get you to turn off the imagery and just click the reference imagery for your first click. You'll then see your images appear in the GCP manager and you can put them in the right place. So it's similar but opposite. Okay, I'm going to add my first control point uh, in a familiar place, and that is this water treatment facility in the top left. So I'm going to turn that off, zoom straight there, let the imagery load, and once I'm happy with that location, I'm going to click once on the Add GCP button, and then I'm going to select my location click once. Sometimes this click takes a couple of seconds so don't go clicking multiple times. Once I've done that I've seen my GCP appear in the GCP manager. Because it's highlighted blue down on the image window I can make sure my image is selected and in this example I can see exactly where that's meant to be. Perhaps you want to zoom out just to check you have the, the right pond. Zoom back in and click a suitable location. Okay, that's my first ground control point. I'm going to repeat that two more times uh, just so you've got it. So I'm going to zoom out again. Feel free to turn on the whole block just so you know where you're working. I've got this pond down on the bottom right, so I'm going to add my second GCP to that location. So I'll zoom into that. I'll let it load. And then I'm going to turn off my imagery and I'm going to select the bottom corner of that building, southern corner. We can see again a second ground control point has been added into the manager and again I'll click on the image and here we're looking in the wrong location so I'm just going to use the mouse wheel to zoom out and then zoom back into the right location. So I've simply rolled out and rolled back in. I look at the location. I'm happy they're the same. So I'm going to click once in there. And I've added a second ground control point. I'm now going to add one more ground control point in the center of the imagery. And then once I've done that, I'll pause the recording and add a load more. So you haven't got to sit through all of them. Okay, so for the next ground control point, as I said, I'm just going to go between the two images in the center just so we see what happens. I'm going to zoom to this uh, building on top of the hill and see there's a pretty distinct car park. I'm going to go for this corner just because that's visible on the reference imagery. So one last time, I'm going to turn off my image collection uh, where we're in the corner of the car park. Select that location. That's going to give me a third ground control point appear in the manager. And I'm going to select the first image, select a suitable location, give the software just a second to do its thing, 
you'll see these blue ticks appear. There we go. Sometimes it'll do them all automatically, sometimes it won't, so you have to manually go in, select. Okay, that's my third ground control point. I'm going to own, add a little, pause the video now and add a few more ground control points and then we'll carry out the next process. And there we go. So I've finished adding GCPs. I've added 15, as you can see, across the entire image block. Once we've added these, we need, then need to rerun the adjustment. So to do that, you simply click adjust again. Okay, so that process is finished running now. It took a couple of minutes. Let's have a look. We can close the logs and just look at our block. So I can see where I've placed my GCPs and I can see how that imagery has shifted. There's a few places where I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, this bridge looks far more accurate and some of the areas in the low grounds look pretty good. However, there's a few areas of high ground that I think need a bit more work. So maybe if I was to run this process again, I would consider changing the location of my ground control points. It's worth mentioning at this stage that if you want to keep these ground control points, you can click here and export them. Okay, thanks for listening. That concludes this video. And in the next video, we're going to look at making DEMs or faux mosaics or both. Thank you for listening.